Chinatown. Is that right? No. That's a lie. No. We're in Chinatown. We stopped at some some Chinese restaurant, obviously. I don't know the title of it. It's Singapore's Cafe. Or, I think it's supposed to be Singapore. Or Singapore. Singapore Cafe. I can't really tell. Uh, the guy kind of swindled us in here for a lunch special for $6. I mean, you can't really beat it. Get some general sales. So, when the food comes, I'll let you know how it is and how big it is and if it's worth the bang for the buck. Just get someone like you could hire a beer on well, Got like a bowl on Tansu. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Somebody would have to want to do that every year. Yes, yeah, <laughs> We had, somebody came back. Somebody it's really good. did once upon a How is it? How many of them? Good. It's good. How's your dumplings? They're great. But I'm thinking maybe looking at your guys if I should have gotten that good one. I got general sales. We'll see how it is here. I'll take a bite. <laughs> Very good. Spicy. Chinatown. About to get some cherries. $3 for two pounds. Not a bad deal. Hi, uh, can I have two pounds of cherries, please? Thank you. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Ready? Alright. Alright, All right, let's go. Got some cherries. So, we just got back from uh, Chinatown. It was pretty fun. I got a front pocket wallet. Not really what I wanted, but I mean, it'll do for five bucks for now. So, I was sick of carrying my big ass wallet around the city. Didn't really feel secure doing that. So, uh, we're actually about to watch Toy Story 1 and then go see American Idiot on Broadway later and then possibly come back and watch Toy Story 2 then after we get done with Darla and Jordan's class tomorrow we're probably going to go see Toy Story 3 I've heard nothing but great things about it so I'm pretty excited, I mean 11 years in waiting bring back some nostalgic feelings so we're about to go watch Toy Story 1 so deuces way to see the American Idiot in St. James Theater. For you don't know, American Idiot is Green Day's musical. So. Sean says are right there. St. James Theater, you can sign your stuff on the wall. Wish I could write away up there, but I'll be forever in New York. Sean Sizzle. Alright, so we just left American Idiot, and there's a childhood icon over here in front of some building, but let's go Let's go see this childhood icon. Okay, let's go to Elmo. We're gonna see, wow, you would give my secret away of who it is. That's right. We're gonna go see Tickle Me Elmo. Hey, Elmo. Oh. We're, we're poor college students. We don't have cash monies. Are you a Tickle Me Elmo? It's a Tickle Me Elmo. Alright, well, Elmo, Holy I love you. Don't want to have money. Alright, let's go this way. He said, we went over to him and he put his hand up and said, tips, we take tips. Uh -huh. So yeah, we just saw American Idiot. It was, eh, I mean, the singing was phenomenal. I love that part. Green Day puts out good music. It's just, there was really no plot. The uh, uh, play musical followed three stories, so it's kind of all over the place. I mean, there was a plot, but then there really wasn't, if you know that it was kind of play slash musical slash uh, movies. It was just like, eh, it was just good singing. I mean, people know that this album was a really influential, revolutionary album for its time, and like for this genre, and it's just 
this controversial album, so. But no, it was a really good musical. I mean, I'd recommend it if you like Green Day, but I was thinking to myself the whole time, I'm really gonna play Time of My Life. I know it's not from the album, or Good Riddance, and that's what they encore with, so. You see, there's there. There's hope. This is so dope. Oh, we got we got Mickey Mouse over there. New York is just filled with everything. So not only is there a Mickey Mouse and an Elmo, there's a Spider-Man. Any way to make some money in New York is what people will do. What is that damn ad about me that keeps coming up? Stop. 